What's up? Monsieur Bellisong here again for an instructional video about where and how to purchase butterfly knives. I wish that there was a nice concise video like this when I started back in what, 2013, 12-ish. So what I wanted to do, because I know one of the biggest questions I had when I was early into butterfly knives is where do I get them? How do people get all these crazy butterfly knives that I can never see on Blade HQ or Knife Center? Turns out, you shouldn't really be looking at those websites. Those are not the sites that you get this, or this, or this. Maybe back in the day you could get that, but not anymore. So I compiled a list of seven places to get butterfly knives, pros and cons of each, and I'm kind of, kind of, ex explain the specifics of how to use those sites if you need to know specific things about those sites because you will have to know specific things trust me so the first website or the first thing i'm going to talk about is retailers blade hq and knife center which is where i got the small fly 2. so i pre-ordered this small fly off of knifecenter.com and the positives of a retailer like Blade HQ, Knife Center, and all those laminas, they are 100% reliable, good quality. So if it's a brand new knife, you know it's gonna be brand new. If it's used, you know that they're gonna explain exactly what's wrong with it. So that's definitely the pros of just buying straight from those websites. Cons, however, legality issues, me specifically in New York, even though it's legal to have butterfly knives here, Blade HQ does not ship them to New York. Knife Center will, that, hence why I got this, but there was a hybrid rep drop on Blade HQ. I couldn't buy them. I don't know why. They say it's illegal and I'm like, that's not what the law is. Um, another con of those websites is gonna be price. You are going to be paying close to MSRP on those websites just because they are retailers. So they're gonna sell you the retail price. Availability is a huge issue because it's public knowledge when the drops are of big, highly sought after knives on those websites. So whenever there's like a Replicant drop, Alpha Beast drop, a Jeff Dumas, like EX10, those things are gone within minutes most of the time if they are sought after. So you need to be on top of that. So just keep that in mind. Retailers are 100% reliable, good quality, and fast shipping, but legality, expensive, and availability are their issues. Next, we're gonna be talking about like a direct sale, direct from the knife maker. And for that example, I have a little beauty right here, the Atropos Laminated Demon. So if you purchase directly from the knife maker, the pros of that, same as the retailer, you're gonna have 100% reliable, good quality, fast shipping to get it out. Um, but on top of that, you can make more of a personal connection with the knife maker. For example, a Tropos, um, once I started buying his knives, I also just started DMing him on uh, Instagram, talking about how much I liked his knives, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a personal connection with the knife maker themselves. And that's just kind of, I think, a little bit of an added bonus with going directly through the knife maker. Now, of course, the cons of that price is still gonna be a con because you are play paying MSRP most of the time doing that. Um, another con is gonna be availability because if it's direct from the knife maker, I'm sure other people know about it and those knives are gonna sell out. Atropos is an exception because that man is a knife making machine. He is crazy. Next, we are going to be talking about the biggest one, the one that I use the most, hands down, and that is going to be Instagram. So Instagram, which is where I picked up this little baby, is an in interesting beast. And a lot of the other places I'm going to talk about on this list are going to be very similar to Instagram. So I'm going to start off with Instagram and describe it. And for the rest, I might be saying, this is similar to Instagram. So on Instagram, you can go to hashtag Balasong sale 
and you will go to recent, sort by recent, and you will see knives aplenty, fill the screen. And now the awesome pros of Instagram, unlimited variety. You never know what's gonna pop up there. One day you might see a Bear Ops. Uh, the next day you might see a Benchmade 49 SPL. <laughs> you literally have no idea. So I've got this on Instagram, got this on Instagram, I got this on Instagram. So yeah, the pros are unlimited variety. Another pro is the connections you can make with people. You can make some really good friendships. After doing this for so many years, there are people that I just chat with weekly, daily, about butterfly knives. Maybe not even butterfly knives. I could chat with them about their cats. There's this one guy on Instagram I talk with about his cat. Okay, that's irrelevant. But the connections you make are awesome on Instagram. Prices are another big pro because you can pick up knives for great prices on Instagram. You just need to be patient, kind of feel the trends out, and then make sure you shoot your DM first if you see a really good price ballast song. I got this for a really good price. Another pro is gonna be trading. So on Instagram, you can offer a trade, right? So you're not even gonna be hurting your bank account. Say you have some expensive knives you don't really like that much, like this one, and someone posts something you want, like this one, you say, hey, I'll give you, I'll trade you this and that. So there's a bit of haggling and trading that can go on, which is awesome. But there are cons to Instagram, definitely cons. Unreliable. If you are using Instagram, you need to build connections. You need to, if you, if you recognize the knife seller and you know them well, you trust them, perfect, no issue with unreliability. But if it's a new knife seller, someone you've never met, you need to ask for references. Please, if one thing you need to take away from this video is that if you are using a website that isn't a retailer, ask for references and build connections because that's the number one thing that's gonna get you your butterfly knives and never get scammed. So say if someone is selling this Zolo and you're like, damn, that's a nice Zolo, um, but you seem like you only have 20 followers and two posts. So what you wanna do is ask Say, you want to send your payment, PayPal, goods and services. Because the way goods and services work is that you can say you never got your goods delivered and your money comes right back to you. So, say if someone has absolutely zero reliability, no followers, you say, I have to pay you in goods and services or else I'm not going to pay you. And if they deny that, they want you to use Cash App, uh, Zelle, or PayPal, friends and family, just let it go. You're probably being scammed. And if someone with like a very low follower account wants to trade you straight up, you need a lot of references from him. But honestly, I would probably ignore that. Because think about how easy it would be for someone to be like, oh yeah, I'll trade you my V1 replicant for your Alpha Beast. And then you ship out your Alpha Beast and then they block you. You're never getting that back. You are not getting that back. So I'm just, I'm gonna focus a lot of time on this because a lot of the other things I'm gonna show you are very similar to Instagram. Um, so make sure you have references, make sure you have a way to cover your ass. If you do get scammed, you can get your money back. If you are trading, I recommend only trading with people that you trust with a lot of references. Do not trade with a brand new account that happens to have a really good knife that you want because it is so easy for them to just sh not ship it out, you ship it out, and then they block you. Also, make sure if they give you, say they give you a tracking number, make sure it's not a fake tracking number. If you go to track and it says this tracking number does not exist, that's an issue. If the tracking number says awaiting shipment, then that's probably a good tracking number because that means that they just bought the tracking and the package is just got into USPS's hands. This is where the biggest issue is. If they send you a tracking number and it says delivered and they just said, just shipped it out and they send you a tracking number that says delivered, probably a scam. Either that or they happen to send you the wrong tracking number. Because if they send you a tracking number and it's already delivered, that means they're probably using that tracking number for other scams. So, point is references, references, and references. Make connections. If you make connections, good friendly connections with people, 
then you guys can probably start trading back and forth more often, more and more often, because you trust each other and you're good friends. Okay, that was a long, long tangent, but it was all important to this. Um, so legality is going to be another issue with Instagram. Just make sure you're not doing any illegal shipping because these can be confiscated and you can get in trouble. Um, and scams. Just keep your eye out for scams. All right, I spent a lot of time on Instagram because I will be making references back to it for other websites, such as Facebook. So pretend I got this from Facebook. So there is a group on Facebook called Buy Sell Ballot Songs. There's like 15,000 people. You need to submit a little bit of an application and then they let you into it. And then it's just a Facebook buy sell group for ballot songs. Very, very similar to Instagram. Not much of a difference. So I'm gonna say it's the same pros as Instagram, except there's a little bit more reliability because it is a closed group. It's not open to anyone like Instagram. Um, some of the cons, same exact thing as Instagram, except a little less scammy. But one of the cons of Facebook is, since it's a closed group, there are less sales. So there's less interesting butterfly knives going through that group. Next is going to be Reddit. Let's just say I got this from Reddit, even though I didn't. Um, Reddit is exactly like Instagram, exactly like Facebook. You go to the Balasong uh, subreddit, and then you'll see what WTT, which means want to trade, WTB, which means want to buy, WTS, want to sell. I have only ever put up a want to buy, and I was asking for a V1 uh, replicant on Reddit, and I had two messages that were both scams and nothing else. So my only experience with Reddit is two crappy scammers that obviously didn't get away with anything. So I'm kind of, I kind of don't like Reddit because it doesn't seem to be very reliable. But honestly, it's the same pros as Instagram, same cons as Instagram, but seems a little bit more scammy. That is a thick boy. Oh my god. A big one next is Jersey Devil. So Jersey Devil is a knife website it's a forum website that's very old it's from like 2002 maybe older maybe newer um and i've been on there since 2014 so that's you can buy and sell on that website and i'm going to say the pros are a pretty good selection you see some odd interesting knives on there that you don't see elsewhere another pro is going to be trading like you can trade on that website i love trading um so you can save some money and use your assets that you've already acquired to gain new assets. And another positive is gonna be your connections, you can make friendships on there. And last positive is gonna be more reliable than Instagram, because they are very strict on that website. You of course still need references. I don't care even if it's on Jersey Devil, you still need references, but you've got a more tight-knit community and people that try to scam get the shit kicked out of them very quick on that website. Um, cons, strict rules, strict as hell. If you go on Jersey Devil, read the rules, follow the rules, do exactly what they say, you will get made fun of, kicked around, and ridiculed if you do not follow their rules just correctly. So, that is, it's a con if you're bad at following your rules. If you're good, it's not really a con. Uh, you got another con is some of the users are rude, just being on that website for six years, some people really think that they are hot shit and they're gonna always, they'll just shit talk you for no reason. I don't know if they just sit on their computer all day and wait to shit talk people, but it's just kind of not the coolest community. It has a really cool community, but it also has some bad actors in it. And the last con is the sales have been pretty slow on that site lately. Um, I think people are just moving to other websites like Instagram, Facebook, and that kind of stuff. So Jersey Devil has sort of gone by the wayside, but there are still sales put up there. So I wouldn't tell you not to go on that website. Check it out if you are just want more variety. Lastly, this is an interesting one. Flea Market. I got this knife at the flea market, the Kershaw Lucha, except it was with the steel handle, not titanium. Um, so the flea market is interesting. 
Um, a pro is that you can inspect things physically, like you can pick them up and see them and actually see what you're looking at, make sure it's not a clone. Um, you can also haggle at the flea market, which is another pro. And that's about that. Cons, you can find clones at the flea market and maybe you don't know that it's a clone, that's a con. Um, another con is that it's a complete shit show of variety. You have no idea what's gonna be at the flea market, right? So, you can go to the flea market one day and they'll have Benchmade 42. Awesome. And the next day you'll go there and it'll just be 20 MTech USAs for like $2 each. And you're like, this place sucks ass. That's what it usually is at the flea market. Um, this Lucha really is what surprised me though at the flea market. I wouldn't have added it on this list unless I had found this there. So, check it out if there's one close. You never know, you might get lucky. So that basically concludes my Balasong where and how to buy guide. If you guys have any more ideas of help new flippers get into the butterfly knife game, or maybe just spread more of my wisdom, please suggest them in the comments. I am going to, I just wanna help the community grow as much as possible, help new butterfly knife flippers safely get into the hobby without getting scammed and then hating the hobby because I have seen that happen. Someone starts out, tries to get into butterfly knives, they get scammed because they don't understand how this system works because buying and selling butterfly knives isn't simple. You need to be steeped in it for years to fully understand it. So that's basically the point of these videos right now is just to help people get into the knife game without, bur without getting burnt. So if you have any suggestions, please comment. I hope you guys have a great week, month, and not a great year. I hope you guys have bad years. No, I'm fucking joking. I hope you guys have a great year. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.